remarks of the president concerning the First Lady's upcoming train trip through the South. From the railroad station in Alexandria, Virginia, October 6, 1964. As chairman, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Alexandria has been chosen as the first stop by one of the greatest campaigners in America. And I'm proud to announce And I'm very proud to announce that I am her husband. Tonight, I'm going to catch up with her in Raleigh, North Carolina, although I know I'll never really overtake her. I plan to use a jet Air Force One tomorrow to try to meet her in New Orleans, but Lady Bird on her train will probably beat me there. She always does. Since I don't dare try to compete with her too much, we're going separate ways tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going out to the Midwest heartland of America. I'm going to report to the American people. I'm going to talk about the proud record of our administration, the Kennedy Johnson administration of the last four years. I'm going to present the overwhelming and the urgent issues of this campaign. And I'm not going to tear down any person or any group in doing that. Never before within the memory of any person here have the American people been asked to make a basic and radical departure from the beliefs and values which are the source of our economic health and our hopes for peace. I do not believe they're going to make that choice. They're going to choose to keep and build on the careful work of the men of both parties, the hard, patient work that's been going on for more than 30 years now. They're going to choose to look ahead to the new problems which are rushing in upon us, our overcrowded cities, our inadequate schools, the growing mastery of the machine, the need to use our leisurely time wisely and creatively. They're going to choose to, I think, continue the search, the quest for peace with reason and with restraint and I hope with constructive imagination. Yes, from now until election day, we're going to talk about the problems of the future. For this should be a campaign in which we explore the different ways to meet the new challenges of America in the turbulent 60s. Instead, the gauntlet has been thrown down not to the future, but to the proved and tested values and solutions of the past. This is far less related to the real needs of our present day world. But it is a more fundamental challenge. We have no choice but to meet it, to crush it, to discard it, and then to get on with the tangible and difficult work of this fast moving decade that we live in. I want to ask each of you to pledge yourselves this morning to go out for the next four weeks, for the next 30 days, and contribute your time and your talents and your energy to your country by supporting Gus Johnson for Congress and Linda Johnson. And Lyndon Johnson and Hubert Humphrey for the presidency and the vice presidency. This is a wonderful crowd. We thank you so much for coming out. I now want to introduce to you my daughter, Linda Burton. <laughs> 